Your program has estimated the annual vaccine needs for your district and determined that vaccines will be delivered quarterly. As a district manager, you need to make sure you have adequate cold chain storage capacity to keep the vaccines at their correct temperatures. If you do not, you risk damaging the vaccines. To determine if your cold chain storage capacity is sufficient, you will need to calculate the storage requirements for vaccines and the storage capacity of your existing cold chain equipment. If the storage volume required for your vaccines is greater than your existing cold chain storage capacity, you have a capacity issue that will need to be addressed. In this video, we will focus on calculating storage requirements for vaccines. To calculate the vaccine storage requirements, you will calculate the storage volume needed for each type of vaccine expected and then add those estimates together. Let us use this table to walk through the calculation. First, list every vaccine in the schedule. If diluents need to be refrigerated, they should be included in the list. For each vaccine, list the number of doses per vial according to the presentation being used. Here, the district has ordered tetanus toxoid, or TT, with 20 doses per vial. Then list the unit volume per dose, or unit packed volume, for each vaccine. This is the volume occupied by each dose, including primary and secondary packaging. You will need to adjust this according to the specific vaccine types in your country. Here, the unit volume per dose for TT is 2 cubic centimeters. To find this information, your program may use a table like this one, listing the packed unit volume for common vaccines and diluents. If you do not have details on the vaccine's unit packed volume, you can measure the length, width, and height of the packaging and multiply them together. Then, divide that number by the number of doses, which is the number of vials multiplied by the doses per vial. Next, record the expected doses to be stored annually for each vaccine. In this example, 266,000 doses of TT are expected. Remember, there are different ways to calculate your annual needs depending on your level and your program. Since you are calculating storage requirement for each quarter, divide this number by 4 to determine the expected quarterly doses. Here, 66,500 doses of TT are expected. Now calculate the total storage volume of each vaccine by multiplying the unit packed volume by the expected quarterly vaccine doses. The storage volume for TT each quarter would be 133,000 cubic centimeters. Divide by 1,000 to convert the total storage volume from cubic centimeters to liters. So TT vaccine would require 133 liters. Copy the total volume for each vaccine and diluent to the appropriate temperature range. With the exception of OPV, all the vaccines in this list should be stored between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. Finally, add the volumes together to get the total storage volume required for each temperature range. This will help you determine your needs for different types of storage such as vaccine refrigerators and freezers. In this example, the quarterly delivery of vaccines will require at least 133 liters of freezing capacity and 1,325 liters of refrigeration capacity. Keep in mind that this table and method would be used for planning your program's routine immunization sessions. In the case of a new vaccine introduction or a supplementary immunization activity, you may need to include any vaccines currently in stock when estimating the required cold chain space for an expected new shipment. In that case, you may use a table like this. You would add the existing doses to the expected doses to determine the total number of doses to store. 
Then you would follow the same method, multiplying the total number of doses by unit packed volume to determine your storage requirements. Once you know your vaccine storage requirements, you will then estimate your cold chain storage capacity to determine if you have sufficient space. To do that, you can use a table like this one. You would calculate the total net vaccine storage capacity for each type of equipment, such as every model of refrigerator or freezer available. Then you would add the capacities together to get the total net vaccine storage capacity for each temperature range. This calculation is covered in more detail in a separate video. When you know your vaccine storage requirements and cold chain storage capacity, you can determine if you have sufficient cold chain storage capacity to store the vaccines. A table like this can help. List your vaccine storage requirements and cold chain storage capacity for both temperature ranges. For each type of storage, subtract the required vaccine storage from your available cold chain capacity. If the result is a negative number, you have a shortage issue that will need to be addressed. For example, let us say you had 528 liters of refrigerator and cold room space available. You need 600 liters for an incoming vaccine shipment. When you subtract 600 from 528, you get a negative number. That means you will need to find additional cold chain storage space to safely store all your vaccines. In this video, we looked at how to calculate vaccine storage requirements and determine if there is sufficient cold chain capacity.